everyone can use a little extra help when working on a project in After Effects. Today, I have five free scripts and tools that you can use in After Effects to help you save time and make your life easier. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out a ton and let's dive in. Our first script is Kinda Sorta, which allows you to quickly sort your layers in any After Effects composition. Here I have five circles that animate in sequence, but they're mixed up in a random order. I can go to the Kinda Sorta window, change Order By to Selected Order, then select each layer in the order I want them, and click the Sort button, and now all of my layers are perfectly in sequence on the timeline. If I wanted to mix up the order of my layers, I can change Order By to Random Order, and each time I click Sort, it'll randomly arrange the layers I have selected. You can also sort your layers by layer name, which will alphabetize your layers, and there's a checkbox for reverse order, which will order things in reverse, so now they're alphabetized backwards. This is a super useful tool for when you have a really big project with lots of different layers and things start to get disorganized. Our next script is Butt Capper, which allows you to quickly change the cap of a stroke path on your shape layers. Usually, if you want to change the cap of a layer, you have to open the shape layer, contents, Polystar 1, Stroke 1, then down here you see the option for Line Cap. With Butt Capper, all you need to do is highlight the layer, hold down the Alt key, then click the style of cap you want on the Butt Capper window. Now you can see it's a rounded cap. We can also change it to a projecting cap, and back to a butt cap. One of the coolest features of this script is the Maintain Stroke Width button. You can see if I resize this shape layer, the stroke width increases and decreases as well. If I enable Maintain Stroke Width, now when I resize the shape, you can see the stroke width dynamically maintains its original size despite the size of the shape. This tool is really helpful if you have a project that uses many shape layers with strokes on them. The next script is called Jiggle, and it's a helpful tool that allows you to create custom wiggle expressions quickly. Here I have a basic shape layer, and if I wanted to add a wiggle expression for its position, I'd have to open position, I'll click the stopwatch and type in an expression like wiggle parentheses 3 comma 100. It works, but it can be annoying to constantly edit an expression to fine tune and if you want the wiggle expression to have more specific parameters, it can get even more complicated. With the jiggle script, all I need to do is highlight the parameter I want to wiggle. I'll do position again. Now you can choose which direction you want it to wiggle in. I'll just highlight X. I'll keep the frequency at 3, which is how fast it's going to wiggle. I'll set the magnitude to 100, which is how much it will wiggle, then just click the jiggle button. Now you can see the circle wiggles back and forth just on the x-axis at a frequency of 3 per second and a magnitude of 100. If I enable Y and press jiggle again, you can see now that it wiggles on the x and y axis. If you have a 3D layer, you can enable the z axis as well and it'll wiggle forwards and backwards too. This is a great tool for creating specific wiggle expressions quickly. The next script is Sociable, which allows you to create preset compositions at the proper aspect ratio for different social media sites. Using the script is as simple as can be. You just choose the type of social media you're making content for, I'll select Instagram Story, set the name for your composition, and click Create Composition. And instantly you now have a new composition with the vertical aspect ratio needed for making Instagram Stories. It even has a marker to show you where the interaction icons appear on screen so you can prevent any part of your project from being covered by the icons in the app. This is a great tool for anyone producing content for multiple types of social media. Our last free script is Coco Color Wheel which allows you to quickly create custom color palettes. Here we have the color wheel and it's currently set to analogous which means if I grab one of these colors and move it on the color wheel, it'll automatically adjust the other colors to be analogous with this one. You can also set it to something like complementary. Now when I move one of the colors, it automatically updates the palette to be complementary with that color. You can see now we have our custom color palette here at the bottom, and if you hover over the colors, it shows you the hex code for that color so you can use it anywhere. In this composition, I have four white rectangles, and another great feature of the color wheel is that I can select one of these layers, then click the color from the color palette to apply a fill of that color on the layer instantly. Now I can do the same with each of the other rectangles and the rest of the color palette, and now we have our custom color palette applied to our project. This tool is great for people who aren't great with color theory or just want a quick way to create some new and functioning color palettes. 
To close out this video, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be incredibly time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce professional work with our Motion Duck extension. For example, you can easily preview templates from one of our packs and just click the apply button. Then you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to gain an edge within your work, check out every template we have for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week. And remember, always be creating.